put up big numbers. Zeke on Bruiser. And Bruiser gets him down at 2.99 seconds. And Mac, we've expected a lot of big things from Bruiser, but it almost seems like sometimes he does just what it takes to get the Cowboy off. Well, yeah, and you're only going to get to see two seconds of him right there, you know? And, and Zeke was actually coming off even before that. He's kind of on the side, but... I don't think that, I think Bruiser was having a good day. Not, I'm not gonna say that was his best day I've ever seen him have, but he just did what he had to do. A 44 point bull score, not the best we've ever seen, but he's just getting warmed up as are we in this championship round. Bruiser, the three time world champion bucking bull could help Castle to the win. It says eight. They will look at this. Dalton hobbling away, which you don't like to see because of the groin issues and the recoveries he's had to go to. This will go to Sean Ramirez, the replay judge. But as we talked about, Mac, if it's eight seconds, Castle's your winner. Yep, and this was the changeup I was talking about. And Bruiser stayed hooked a lot longer than I thought he was going to. But you see it coming. There's the big jump. Now it's going to come back to the right and credit Castle because he's not in great shape. His head's picked up, but he's hanging on to that bull rope. He knows, you know what, I'm in bad shape, but I can grit this out. And I think he gets it, Craig. Wow. We are going to parcel the milliseconds right here. And this is one of those times we talk about it a lot, Mac, where you really don't want to be a judge. <laughs> no, and, and with all of that traffic in there, you know, his shafts are flopped over. Where's the tail at? Where's the hand at? It's hard to see and, and kind of try to sort all of that out. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see it from this angle again, but they have a lot of cameras down there, and they will look at them all. Maybe we and will. And, you know, the free arm was really close to touching the dirt, but oh. he's not touching the dirt no. at eight. uh-uh. Check that box. Yep. I think he's going to – man, I feel like he'll get a score here. It's so close, but – Meanwhile – Oh boy, oh. 797 is what they officially rule, which means our world number one, Jose Vitor Leme, wins his fourth event of 2020. Get warmed up. Well, not only did Circada make it to the five point mark that you felt he needed, but he goes three more, all the way to eight. We are gonna have a new overall leader, and it's going to be Alex Circada. 91 and a quarter. Really, really good stuff, because as we watch this play back, think about that big jump I was talking about. Right there it is, and he handled it perfectly. That's where we seen a week ago he bring Dalton Castle down and cost him winning the event. Alex handled it to perfection right there. This is just really good stuff, but then right here, there's the big jump. Here comes the direction change. Good job. Way to keep his head down and his focus on the back of Bruiser. And I would be remiss if I didn't give you due credit. That big move that you keep referring to happened at five seconds. So it's only because Circada was able to weather that hurricane that he is now in position to win the first event of his career.